Yeah, I was feeling pretty good, and I was like, might as well lead into a pretty technical course, and I've always loved King, so I was just like having some fun and just see what I could do on the first lap. Well, I was trying to just go as hard as I could and focus on my own race, but I know that Clara is super consistent throughout the race and sometimes even gets stronger um, the more she races. So I knew that she would be coming and getting closer. So yeah, I was just trying to ride hard, but make sure to save a little bit in the tank so that I could try and stick with her once she caught me. Well, I really kind of just wanted to see where I was at, like against Clara in a course like this, because I know that this being a little bit less of a power course, a little bit more high speed technical, maybe I would be able to hang onto her wheel for like longer than I think that I would. And so I kind of just saw where I was at and realized I don't think that I can hold this pace for the entirety of 50 minutes, but I'm gonna do everything that I can to make as much of a gap to really try and fight for the podium. and. I think that it just worked out in my favor today and I'm ha pretty happy with how it went. I, I was pretty decent going through the pit the first time for, for me, like sitting six or something. But then when you start to feel, see the gaps open up in front of you, I think it was Lizzie and Bella and I was behind two riders and like I have this tendency to be pretty relaxed and sometimes it gets a little bit too far and then I'm like, oh wait, I gotta go. And I did a little bit of that today. I was, so I had to make up quite a bit to get to Lizzie and then again with Bella. I mean, honestly, what I should have done is just put Lizzie in front of me and been like, show me how to get around these corners because she's such a darn good bike handler. Um, yeah, so I, I w but I also know that I have a, a, a greater endurance capacity. So with three laps ago when she was with me, I, I, I wasn't too concerned. If had it been like going into two laps, I would have been like, I got to I got to attack. Well, it's really nice to be able to race with her. Um, I actually really enjoyed the last few laps riding her wheel, just seeing what kind of lines she took because she has really amazing skills and she's a very experienced rider. So yeah, it's really nice to be able to race with her and learn from her. It's just, you know, trying to death by a thousand daggers or whatever. Just um, knowing that I can do like those little accelerations and recover pretty well. However, even like if I get a little gap or she'd have a little dabble behind me, she was able to close it so quickly. And then I just knew that it was going to be kind of whoever went into the pumpkin feature, as we'll call it, <laughs> the last time. And she made the move and I felt it. And instead of like panicking, I just focused on the next spots I could make the pass back. And the first one was up the climb on the inside but she, she felt me and she definitely fought back. And so I went for the next spot, which was on the descent on the inside and just full gas. <laughs> uh, like knowing that even if I could go, if it wasn't the fastest, like in letting it loose, like just being in front was what mattered. And then just, it was pretty much there to the line of sprint.